Today I'm going to test the Two Trees TS3 laser engraver. I am going to put it to the test to see how it performs at laser engraving and laser cutting plywood, hardwood and acrylic and even stainless steel. I am also going to test how it engraves anodized aluminium, measure its laser spot size and compare all the results to other machines I have tested previously. I will also test its offline and Wi-Fi connectivity features. The Two Trees TS3 took a different design route from what we usually see with diode laser engravers. Instead of an open frame design, they went with an enclosed design style that we usually see with the CO2 lasers. The enclosed design helps with smoke and odor management. This way you will not need to buy or build an additional ventilation chamber if you want to use this machine indoors. The machine comes with a 10 watt laser module and a honeycomb bed which can be easily removed if not needed. It also features a color LCD touchscreen which is used for offline engraving from SD card or connecting the machine to the Wi-Fi so you can also control it with a smartphone app. The machine also supports the connection of the rotary system. In my case, I also needed to tighten the rollers and belts a little bit as they were a little too loose for my taste. A lot of play in the mechanics can greatly impact the quality of engravings. Tightening everything will greatly improve the engraving performance of this machine. This machine has a built-in air filter that circulates and filters the air inside the chamber and reducing odors this way. This way a machine can be operated indoors without the need to vent the odors outside. First, I did a quick test to see how well the filtering system works. The machine filters out around 80 to 90 percent of the odors which is enough for using the machine in the garage, but since I used the machine in my small lab, I converted the machine to vent the smoke out the window. To do this, you need to reverse the direction of the two fans, install the hose connector part and attach the included generously long hose. First, let's make an alignment test to see if the machine can start engraving on the same exact position multiple times in a row. I start by engraving a word on a small piece of wood, then I manually move the laser head away and calibrate home position again. Then, I engrave the same thing two more times to see if the lines align. The alignment is almost perfect. I think the error happens because the machine uses contactless inductive switches instead of the mechanical switches. These are less precise, but they still work good enough. Now let's get to proper tests of this machine. First, I measured the true optical output power, which is exactly as specified. The machine is focused by a focusing block which consists of multiple parts, so you can focus the beam in the middle of the material for better performance at laser cutting. The acrylic cover is made from protective material which enables you to use the machine even without laser goggles. It blocks most of the harmful light. As you can see protective glasses don't make much difference. Without the protective shield, there is much more harmful light. I engraved my standard test pattern which shows the general engraving performance of the machine. If you want to know the explanation of these patterns, visit my website hobbylasercutters.com where you will find the detailed results of all these tests, and you can directly compare them with all other machines I have tested. This machine is quite strong, and it engraves nicely. The only downside is not having the air assist or simple air management under the laser module, as it leaves a lot of smoke stains when there is no airflow to blow the dust away. It also leaves some charred dust. An air assist would fix this issue. I have tested all brands from Sculptfun, Najay, Xtool D1, Atomstack, Orter, Combro, and many more. Next, I engraved the test pattern on black anodized aluminium. This test shows the engraving precision, laser dot size and shape. The main feature of this test is the interval test in vertical and horizontal direction to further evaluate the laser spot shape, 
as the engraving on anodized aluminum comes out very crisp and detailed, and therefore it is easy to clearly identify the laser spot size. Compared to similar machines, the engravings look less balanced in both directions, which means that the laser spot size is rectangular. Let's see the details with a microscope. The engravings look very stable with very little mechanical wobble. The smallest of text is clearly visible. The next test on the list is the focus distance test. I start by placing three 3mm acrylic sheets on the laser bed and place the wood board on top. Then, I focus the laser optimally and engrave the text and the first square with 0mm written in it. 0mm is the optimal focus. Then, I keep removing the 3mm sheets one by one, without readjusting the focus to see how the laser beam looks further away from the optimal focus. The laser spot of this machine stays tightly focused at a great distance. The result is quite good. This means that this machine will be good at cutting thick materials. You can check out more detailed photos of these results on my website. Link in the description. I noticed that during the tests, the acrylic glass got a bit dirty and cleaning the dirt with a dry paper towel didn't work but adding a little bit of cleaning agent cleaned it up nicely. And now let's see how the Two Trees TS3 performs at cutting 3mm, 6mm, and 10mm poplar plywood boards. I run the cutting tests at 300, 600, and 900mm per minute, both in horizontal and vertical cutting direction. I will not include clips of all the cutting tests in this video, but on my website hobbylasercutters.com you will find detailed images and results of all the tests I did. Here is a table of results. This machine cuts very well, but the cuts are surrounded by smoke stains because of the bad air management. Adding an air assist to this machine would make a huge difference. I also tested the performance at cutting pine, beech and oak hardwood. I also tested the performance at cutting 3mm and 10mm black acrylic at 600mm per minute. It took only 4 passes to cut 3mm thick acrylic. Then I tried to cut this almost 10 mm thick piece of black acrylic that a lot of machines struggled to cut. It took 35 passes to cut through, which is an above average score. Lastly, I tried engraving the stainless steel that I blackened with a black spray paint. I used a very slow speed of 200 mm per minute and full power. The engraving is very good. This machine is a capable engraver for stainless steel. It can also engrave stainless steel directly without blackening. I also tried the offline engraving mode. I exported the design as G-code in Lightburn and saved it to the SD card. Then, you insert the card into the machine and run the engraving job without the need to have a computer near the machine.
You can also connect this machine to a Wi-Fi network or in my case a hotspot on my mobile phone. On your phone, install the MKS Laser app, enter the machine IP, and you are ready to control the machine with your smartphone. You can draw designs with your finger or create simple shapes in text. Then you adjust the settings and position the engraving on your piece. If you find out that your settings are not the best, you can adjust the speed and power in real time during the machine operation. You can also engrave photos taken with a camera. You can choose between different image modes. This is an awesome feature to make personalized gifts. You can find a purchase link for this machine in the video description, where I will also list a discount coupon if you decide to buy it. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.